Uh, I'm very happy to introduce the speaker today, Ana Maria Chaparro Castaneda, from mm -hmm. Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro, that will talk about the higher form brackets for even Nambu Poisson algebras. So thank you very much, Ana. You may start your talk. Okay, good morning. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm glad to present this work that is going to be the work of my thesis. Um, I'm going to share the, the presentation now. Uh, this is a joint work with Hans Christian Herbig, which is my advisor uh, at the university. And this is a work that we made based on a um, former work that he did with two collaborators, and uh, not for Nambu Poisson algebras, but for Poisson algebras. So thank you for coming, and um, I'm going to start. So the plan of this talk is to speak a little bit about singular number person algebras and number person ideas and then to give some examples and then we have these structures that are the infinity algebras and any infinity algebras uh, we got it from a paper written by Voronov and uh, we are going to uh, explain the construction of the resolvent and the cotangent complex. And after that, we are going to relate these two concepts, the infinity algebras and an infinity algebra with our resolvent, which is our, our, the main result of this paper. Okay, so I'm going to start with the definition. We have a, a K algebra, then we define the number Poisson structure of LPM on A as a multilinear antisymmetric map which comes from a m times a to a and a satisfies these two conditions this first condition is called the Leibniz condition and the second condition is called the fundamental identity um, in the case where m equals two this identity becomes the Jacobi identity everyone knows from, from Poisson, uh, Poisson algebra or Poisson geometry. And this uh, bracket is called Nambu Poisson bracket, while the algebra uh, endowed with this bracket is called Nambu Poisson algebra. This, um, this uh, notion appeared uh, for for Poisson algebras in in many in many places but for uh, for RETM there is uh, in this paper of Tartajan there is a definition but not for uh, algebras but for manifolds okay now the number Poisson idea um, so we have a, a number Poisson algebra and we take an, an ideal in S. And then we call it the Poisson ideal if this, this condition of the, the number Poisson bracket applied to I uh, in, one, in one entry and then to S in all the other entries is contained in I then i is called a number person idea and uh, we have we can construct a number person bracket on the quotient s over i induced from the number person bracket on s uh, doing like this we take an element in a is going to be of the form gi plus i where gi belongs to s and we um, apply the bracket to M of such elements and we define it by uh, the bracket applied to the elements G1 to GM and then we, uh, we sum I. 
And then the ideal I in S is going to be generated by a finite set of elements, F1 to Fk. And the condition of green and Ambupasson ideal can be, um, we, we can say uh, that the Nambupasson ideal applied to uh, M minus one coordinates and one of these uh, functions is going to be the sum of these uh, zetas that are polynomials um, um, times uh, this uh, function f mu that is again one of the f1 fk that we have in s uh, these zetas are not uh, unique and um, when the zetas are not zero uh, we say that the generators are Casimir's. Now, these zetas, these zetas uh, are going to be the crystal symbols of a connection on a number module over A. But I'm not, I'm not going to, to talk uh, a lot about it because of the time. Now, uh, I'm going to give three examples. Uh, all uh, three of them made by us, and the other one is taken from uh, from um, well, I'm, I'm going to come back to this later. <laughs> okay, so we start with uh, diagonal brackets. So we have S. Um, uh, which is, uh, we have K, which is a, a ring, and we consider the uh, polynomial rings with n variables. And then we consider the totally antisymmetric tensor with entries in K. And then we form this diagonal bracket uh, by multiplying all the variables, xi1, xi2, by xim times the anti-symmetric tensor. And if M is even, we prove that uh, this bracket is going to be number Poisson. Now we talk about the uh, monomial ideals, which are the Poisson ideals in this case. So what we're going to have is um, these um, monomials that uh, are going to be uh, uh, monomials of the type of multiplication of all variables. And then we have that uh, when we consider a, a polynomial in this form, which is a, the um, antisymmetric tensor by x i1, x i m minus one, this is going to satisfy this relation. And this is uh, why the monomials of this type are going to be, um, are going to form an idea for the number person uh, algebra, person idea, uh, number person idea for the number person algebra. And the zetas are going to be like this. Uh, then we have the determinant brackets. Then for this, we um, we took a, a ring that it could be R or C, and then we have the polynomials a ring. Uh, we take a file of a which is R or C, and we take the polynomial ring over that file, and then we assume that we have a K plus M plus m derivations uh, which is which are pairwise commuting and then we uh, we take a k um, a functions in s now for a1 and am we define the number person bracket as g which is any function uh, times the determinant of the commuting derivations applied to the functions. 
and this is going to be again a number Poisson bracket on S. And the ideal uh, are uh, as this F1, Fk are um, Casimirs because if we if we as we have the first F1, Fk in S, if we repeat um, F1, Fk for the A1 and AM, we are going to get repeated um, um, rows and the determinant is going to be zero, and that's why uh, F1 uh, to Fk are uh, Casimirs. And they define a uh, number Poisson algebra. Okay, now for these invariant rings. So we have a copulous reductive Lie group and a finite dimensional representation of G. Then we take the algebra of regular functions on B and the subalgebra of G invariant. Then the number bracket is called G invariant if it satisfies this condition in here, which is that um, if we take uh, an element in the in the Lie algebra of the group G and we apply to the number Poisson bracket of F1, Fm is the same as apply the number Poisson bracket in the uh, algebra multiplied by each of the elements. And um, um, in this case, um, the subalgebra of J invariance uh, forms an number Poisson subalgebra sub of the algebra of regular functions. And there um, exists a complete system of homogeneous polynomial invariants in the subalgebra of G invariants. And this substitution uh, that sends xi to phi i is going to be a surjective homomorphism. Now, the kernel of this homomorphism um, is going to form uh, an idea, and uh, if we take uh, the quotient in between S and this idea, uh, we are going to have a number person algebra. And the, the kernel uh, is going to be the number person ideal, and the elements are going to be called the relations. Now, um, we take, as a sub-example of this, we take a linear bracket in the sense of Weismann, which is uh, with the Hodge star. The Hodge star is, uh, you, you have a form, a, um, and, and you take what is missing for that form to become the volume form, right? This is the definition of the Hodge bracket. So uh, the Hodge bracket is going to be as well in a Poisson bracket. Um, and this bracket uh, is going to be um, O and a K invariant, which is orthogonal group invariant. So uh, with what I said before, uh, we see that uh, uh, how are going to how, how are we going to get the relations? Okay, now I'm going to talk about uh, three structures that we took from the paper of Bordenov, which are like the the, the the central thing that we did in the work. So first, we're going to consider an abelian group, and then we're going to consider this a subcategory of um, gamma graded a projective models. Then uh, we're going to define an infinity algebra. Uh, it's going to be a, a gamma graded infinity algebra of degree nu is going to be a, a sum, a direct sum of models 
uh, and a sequence of collinear operate, operate, operations that uh, comes from the exterior product of L to L and uh, of degree nu minus n delta. And it is going to satisfy this sort of Jacobi um, equation where this uh, epsilon the sigma x is going to be the causal sign of the, of the permutation and sigma is going to be the sign of the permutation and this permutation is going to be set of permutations, not all the permutations, but only the set of permutations, so that uh, they they um, satisfy these conditions, which is sigma 1, less than sigma 2, less than sigma uh, q, and sigma q plus 1, less than sigma uh, q plus 2, and less than sigma a. Okay, then we have another, which is a gamma graded and infinity algebra over the spec spectrum of A. And uh, it means a gamma graded and infinity algebra uh, with these brackets, uh, such that each L, each L, L gamma is going to be a projective M model, and the operators, the operations, um, of the L infinity model are going to satisfy these uh, conditions. That uh, del, uh, which is going to be the first bracket, is a linear, and sorry, and for n greater or equal than two, we have these three conditions. The first condition relates the bracket with the anchor, which is going to be rho. The second condition is like a Leibniz condition for the anchor. And the third condition is, well, I don't know, another condition. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, and when rho n equals zero, we say that uh, L is the gamma graded L infinity algebra with a M R E anchor over the spec a spectrum of A. Okay, now the infinity al algebra. So a uh, um, gamma graded infinity algebra of the GNU is going to be commutative algebra. It's going to be direct sum of R gamma, uh, which are, are going to be a projective A modules. And it's going to be a gamma graded and infinity algebra of degree nu. And um, they satisfy the bracket, is going to satisfy the Leibniz rule. Uh, but this Leibniz, uh, a special Leibniz rule, right? Because we have a sign in here, we have a causal sign in here. So uh, satisfy, it satisfies the Leibniz rule with the causal sign. Okay. Now, the last definition is for M uh, greater or equal than two, we have a Lee Reinhardt M algebra, which is an A model with um, this K linear operation from the, from the M times the exterior product of B to B, and an anchor from um, M minus one exterior product of B uh, with a um, product, tensorial product with A, which is going to satisfy what? This first condition is sort of like a, a Jacobi condition as well. The second condition is it relates the anchor and the Jacobi, and the, no, the anchor and the bracket. This third condition is like it, 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 it's again the anchor and the bracket, the relation between the anchor and the bracket. And the last condition is Leibniz condition for the anchor. Okay, 
So those are the 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 higher form the the higher uh, brackets that we found important enough. And now I'm going to explain uh, what we did uh, in our in our paper. So we took uh, first. Uh, this a graded set and uh, we attach to a, each um, element of it a variable uh, x i l whose parity was the parity of l and we introduced this algebra this is going to be x s x and uh, it's going to be for by all the i's and all the l's in n. And they satisfy uh, also uh, this causal sign, which, which means that x i l is going to be even if l is even or odd if l is odd. And we assign cohomological degrees. Uh, and minus l to the variables x i l so we start uh, considering only variables up to some level and we are going to find then um, a graded polynomial rings uh, uh, with uh, finite generators okay now we have a dj algebra uh, Erdel is going to be is called semi free if um, is an um, a graded polynomial algebra uh, over the graded set phi and for each L uh, greater than zero and I in uh, in I L uh, we have that the derivation applied to X I L is going to belong to this set X of X uh, less or equal than, than L minus one. Okay, so uh, for each R greater than zero or equal, this pair R with this um, um, del is going to form a semi-free the G subalgebra sub of R, R del. And there is a kappa, which is going to be um, a canonical algebra that sends each X I L to zero. Now we have a, the way that we can write a, the del le, less or equal to R and the del uh, in the case where R is infinity. Then, if we take an ideal in S, uh, we uh, construct a semi-free S algebra, and we see that is going to be a resolvent, uh, which means that the composition of the morphisms, kappa, and this morphism, which is the natural morphism, is, the, is a quasi-isomorphism, which uh, means that it's a... a morphism in homology or in cohomology. Now we are going to define this uh, I, H, H, uh, less or equal than R, that is going to be, uh, take the derivations of R and put it down for a degree, one degree, and then take the symmetrization of it. And this is going to be uh, this algebra that we can describe as polynomials uh, uh, generated by these variables x and these variables size, where each variable size is attached to a variable x by this L. You see that is uh, upstairs. Uh, uh, up in x and down inside. So it's like a, a pair of, of, of variables. And then we extend, we, we um, 
we put uh, some grade, grade grading in the variables uh, like this. If it's psi, if the variable is psi, we give L. If the variable is X, we give zero. Okay. Now with this uh, definition of vibration degree, we uh, define this uh, F, which is going to be, um, we are going to take a, all elements in H, uh, polynomials in here in H, uh, in this or equal to R with vibration degree greater than P. And then we're going to form with this a descending Hausdorff filtration. And, um, and, um, and uh, then uh, on the other hand, we are going to, um, we are going to have a, a, a cotangent complex, which is um, a, a, a um, tensorial product with this gamma, which is colored forms. Uh, um, and we are going to call it the cotangent complex. Now, um, the generators of I are going to form a complete intersection in the cotangent complex. Um, and they are going to form a projective resolution of the model uh, omega of color forms. Okay, now we have this uh, definition of uh, uh, Hersten Haber algebras with respect to the Scouting uh, bracket. So we have, uh, we need the exterior product of the derivation in S, and we need these four conditions. The first one, the variables anti commute. The second one, the, the uh, bracket of the variables uh, commutes with this sign, which is positive sign as well. Uh, the third one is Leibniz rule, but special, again, with positive sign. The fourth one is going to be Jacobi, but special, because it's again with positive sign. Okay. Now uh, we have uh, this is the only bracket that is going to satisfy the, the conditions for, be, for the Hersen Haber, for being Hersen Haber algebra. So we are, so we are going to write it like this as, as sums of sine derivatives with respect to of size, size and uh, times a sine derivative derivatives with respect of x and then we take all the union of all the h and we um, can define on it this bracket which is from the sum as you can see is from a uh, zero to infinity to infinity and uh, this is going to be this quotient bracket on the on the union okay Agora, agora, now there is this canonical homomorphism that is called the Kalachi, and it, this is going to extend to uh, this injective morphism of our models that uh, is, going, is going to give us this G, which is the completion of, a, of H in the F added topology. Uh, and and uh, each of these g less of equal than r is going to be as well a a a, a Hersen algebra and all the collection when r varies it's going to form an f allically complete a uh, system of a Hersen algebra okay Agora, uh, agora, now our, our results uh, is going to be, we are going to uh, construct these pi zeros, um, pi one, and uh, 
these files. Uh, file zero uh, less or equal to j minus one. And the idea is that this f are uh, elements of the resolvent. And we are going to have this lemma, which is the main lemma of the work. And uh, it says that for L greater, greater or equal than two, we're going to uh, find, find phi L in uh, H L minus one, but with a, a high enough a vibration degree and uh, this condition is going to be satisfied which is the skeleton bracket of this pi zero less or equal all of l minus one plus the sum until l minus one of this pi i with itself uh, is going to be minus two times the uh, derivative of Phi L, uh, but uh, higher terms in vibration degree. Now, um, okay, now, um, this, this lemma, this lemma is true uh, for Poisson case and it's more simple for Poisson case, but um, it happens something in Poisson case, which is that the, uh, the bracket of the pi and the pi are homogeneous. So you don't have to worry about the convergence of this series. But in our case, this bracket uh, is not homogeneous and uh, then we are worried about the, um, the convergence of the series so what we do what we did was that uh, all the all the things that they made my professor and, and his collaborators in the question case we had to uh, we have to change the grading. So, uh, because in the paper of Borono that we were based on, they have uh, that all the constructions that they did it can be made for the for the case when we put gamma equals to C two. So, uh, this is the main difference between or this paper and that case that they did before. Okay, and also the fact that there is a lot more of variables <laughs> in my case, because the reality is, is, is greater, right? Okay, so uh, always RET even, because it's a generalization of question case. So the RET has to be even, and we prove this. This is the first theorem that that important theorem that we prove. So uh, we have I uh, an ideal in this um, polynomial ring over this file, and uh, this is uh, number person ideal. Then we take the quotient and uh, k generator for I. Now we construct the resolver uh, on the generators. Uh, on the k generator in the k generators and then we are going to find a, a structure of a gamma graded the infinity algebra uh, on our resolvent such that uh, there is going to be uh, this this first uh, uh, bracket and the brackets are going to be given by this uh, uh, equation, which is going to relate. To relate, we can read it from the from the center to to, to outside, right? So we we have first 
uh, scouting bracket of pi with phi one. Then we do this with the scouting bracket with this with phi two. Then the scouting bracket with yes, and then with the scouting bracket of uh, phi j. And then we we uh, we have the augmentation, which is a function which which goes from because this uh, bracket or this bracket which is going to be an element of of uh, the D algebra G. So uh, with the augmentation, we can go uh, to R, and this is going to be a causal sign. And with this, we make this bracket that is going to form a gamma graded infinity algebra on R there. Okay, under the same as assumptions of the last theorem. Uh, then we have a gamma graded and infinity algebra um, with n core uh, on the cotangent complex. So um, that is compatible with the front bracket and the anchor. So it is going to be, uh, the bracket is going to be like this. The bracket uh, of the V1 because um, this, uh, Omega is is a uh, color forms, right? So the they are written as it's like a like if if it were differential forms, they're the derivative of someone of a function. So we define this bracket on on color one forms, and it's going to be the derivation of. Uh, the bracket applied to the functions. And uh, we define this anchor that is going to be again from one form to derivations on A, uh, where the derivation that it is going to say d phi 1 to d phi m minus 1 is going to be a uh, the derivation that says a to the bracket of phi one phi m minus one and a and this is going to form a, a an infinity algebra a gamma graded an infinity algebra structure a, on the cotangent complex now the last one we have an even inter integer, integer, then we consider i a number person idea, and number person algebra, and the quotient. And then we consider these two brackets. Uh, one is a, a, a simply the derivation of the a bracket of the number person algebra, and the other one is like an anchor. Uh, of one forms that is going to be this x a1 a m minus one is going to be the uh, number person bracket of a1 and a m minus one so this is going to be like a, like a hamiltonian vector field and uh, for a1 a m we are going to have a Lie-Reinhard m algebra structure on the a model of color differentials okay now i'm going to talk about um, some computations that we made and i'm going to show two examples for you to see what we made so in the beginning with this example we started with this um number bracket number person bracket which is uh, the diagonal right the diagonal uh, um, and these two uh, f1 f2 are the the monomials that are going to create the the um, the idea so uh, what we do we did in this example was uh, to check the lemma the main lemma that we 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 got so we started by uh, constructing the Poisson idea 
on the quote uh, S over I. And then we calculated the zetas. And with the zetas, we, we calculated um, pi 2. Then on the other hand, we, uh, with Macaulay 2, which is a, a prep program, we calculated the uh, uh, information of the resolvent. And with this information of the resolvent, we were able to calculate this uh, pi three, pi four, pi five. And pi one, we have a definition for pi two. Well, we were able to calculate this and we were able to do some uh, steps of the recursion. But it was like this. First, the number was on a bracket on the quotient, then the zetas, then the um these pies uh, which are constructed by looking at the skeleton bracket of the uh, pies that we had before and with this we were uh, proving we were checking we were checking this 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 lemma so it means that we were we, we got rid of the higher higher um vibration degree uh, uh, terms that we were having and we were checking that the derivative of what we were getting was um, the the um, the scoting bracket of the pies we had before so in good quickly we made all of these this is very short but it was a gigantic amount of work to get it okay now, okay, now this is a non-complete intersection um, generated by two monomials in dimension four. Now we, we, we present as well a complete intersection generated by two monomials, which is going to be, a, um, a, which is going to mean that uh, there exist uh, polynomials that are going to generate all the polynomials that are zero. So, uh, in here, what is going to happen with the same with the same uh, number bracket, but f one f two uh, we change it for for it to be complete intersection, and uh, we calculated the pi zero um, uh, less or equal than i, and we got that the pi zero less or equal than one was this, and the other one. The other ones were zero for i greater than one. So we get we got that only we only have pi one, pi two, pi three, and then from pi four uh, uh, next, uh, I mean to pi five, pi six, etc., are going to be all zero because this is the case of complete intersection. Okay, and that that is how how what we did. Uh, we are we are going to finish this these examples because uh, in these examples that we have in here the arity of the bracket is the same um, a amount of variables and we are, we have almost complete another uh, example where the arity of the bracket is less than the um, amount of variables and this is going to change uh, some things and uh, then we are we are looking for uh, examples in in invariant theory <laughs> invariant theory um, because in here in invariant rings we have um, only examples when G the group G is finite because when it is infinite. Uh, all the examples that we uh, saw until the moment uh, is going to give us a trivial uh, number person bracket on the on the quoting. So we are trying to find uh, another type of examples, and um, and that's all. And then I I finish my talk for now. Thank you for the attention. And um, in here there are some references. Um, 
this is from where we get the the skeleton bracket the first one catania offender uh, the second one is the paper of my advisor which is hans christian um, called higher causal brackets in the cotangent complex but it's made only to to Poisson brackets then we have uh, this one where we got the definition of color differentials and then uh, this uh, where we get the definition of a, a, a Poisson structures, but for many folds, many folds. Then in Weissman, we took from it the the linear bracket. And Voronov, we take we took uh, all the all the higher bracket from it, and then the Hausdorff algebras we took from the last one. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>